Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Well family, this video is about Nick Cannon who calls it quits at America's Got Talent and he did it via Facebook post. So I'm just going to read part of what he said. Basically on Monday he took to social media to announce that he was bowing out of his gig as the host of the hit TV show America's Got Talent after he learned that network executives were considering firing him over a racial joke he told during a Showtime comedy special, Stand Up, Don't Shoot. So here's what he writes, quote, I write this from a deeply saddened and dolorous mindset. After days of deliberating over some extremely disappointing news that I was being threatened with termination by executives because of a comedy special, that was only intended to bring communities closer together, I was to be punished for a joke. He began in a post on Facebook and Instagram, quote, this is weight heavy on my spirit. It was brought to my attention by my team that NBC believed that I was in breach of contract because I had disparaged their brand. In my defense, I would ask, how so? Or is this just another way to silence and control an outspoken voice who often battles the establishment? Cannon went off to say that he had been warned that something like this might happen. He says, recently many of my mentors have cautioned me that soon the system would come down on me because I was speaking too many truths and being too loud about it. I had no idea that it all would hit so close to home, he explained. According to the rap, this was the contentious joke from the special, quote, I grew up like a real nigga, but I honestly believe once I started doing America's Got Talent, they took my real nigga card away. They did, because then, like, these type of people started showing up to my shows. Cannon allegedly then pointed to three white audience members sitting in the front row. I can't do the real nigga stuff no more, because then they'll pull me They'll put me on TMZ. Cannon posted continue, Cannon's post continued. I find myself in a dark place having to make a decision that I wish I didn't have to. But as a man, an artist, and a voice for my community, I will not be silenced, controlled, or treated like a piece of property. There is no amount of money worth my dignity or my integrity. He went on to say that despite the sour ending, he had truly enjoyed his stint on the show. He says, quote, I have loved hosting America's Got Talent for the last eight seasons, watching talented, brave, and courageous Americans accomplish their dreams in front of millions has been nothing but a joy, and everyone has been a pleasure to work with, but my soul won't allow me to be in business with corporations that attempt to frown on freedom of speech, censor artists, and question cultural choices he shared. He also said this was not the first time the powers that be had tried to put him in his place, and he vowed he would continue to fight against the machine, so to speak. Quote, my moral, my moral principles will easily walk away from the millions of dollars they hang over my head. It's never been about money for me. What is difficult to walk away from is the fans, the people who love me on the show. This hurts tremendously. I felt like I was a part of the fabric of our great nation every summer, representing every culture, age, gender, and demographic. Now, for the rug to be pulled from underneath me and to be publicly reprimanded and ridiculed over a joke, about my own race is completely wrong and I have to do something about it. I have fought many battles in my career and have never been afraid to go up against the system. In closing, he quoted himself, quote, as I was quoted in a recent interview, quote, you can't fire a boss and that is the essence that I possess, he shared. And he's right. You can't fire a boss when the boss quits first. Cannon and all four judges re-upped their contracts last year, and there's some question about whether the host can actually quit 
without facing s stiff repercussions. America's Got Talent has not yet responded to our request for comment. So basically what they're saying family before I end this video is they're saying that because he quit before they fired him well now they can charge him with stiff repercussions whatever that means. It just seems so in the day and age of um, what do they call it a willful contract I, that is that they can willfully get rid of you at any point they want to without question that goes the same for you you can willfully get rid of them at any point the contract is a two-way street I don't understand how white white folks and I won't use the term white supremacy anymore I'm gonna stop saying that because there's nothing supreme or supremacy or supremacy about them nothing so but something about white folks that gets me is that they always feel like they have to be in some type of control so here it is Nick Cannon quits before they fire him and then they get mad about that these people are just un unreal unreal that's all I can say I've never ever come across a group of people that have just been totally just way out of this world I, I have to wonder if, if are they really a planet earth anyways family thanks for watching I'm gonna end this right now because I have another one in mind thanks for watching peace and love to you and yours and until the next one don't forget to love yourself we'll miss you on the show Nick Cannon even though I didn't watch it I stopped watching America's Got Talent some time ago same with the Grammys and all the rest of those shows because they're rigged totally rigged anyways that's my take on it peace out